begin with a device for taxi driver security that we think just might work. After the death of Auckland Cabby, Hiran Mohini stabbed to death, of course, by a passenger who it's believed then fled to China and has still not been arrested. The government and the taxi industry moved to work together to make cabs safer. Easier said than done, though. Security cameras are the most likely response, but will they stop an attack once it's underway? Tony Reid looks at an alternative, and it's very simple, really, noise. Remember Logan Pillay? We met him back in February after these drunken louts smashed up his taxi van despite the security cameras tracking their every move. Today we wanted to try out a new device, one that's aimed at stopping the would-be attacker in his steps. It's called the sound barrier. The sound barrier is a device that generates an intolerable sound spectrum and then broadcasts it at a very high volume. Um, the result being that it makes the area that it is protecting uh, an intolerable place to remain in, thereby forcing an intruder or an attacker to exit immediately. They come in two sizes. We tried out the small one first in Logan's taxi with the help of our actor, assailant, Ben Quigan. How long could he stay in the taxi once Logan triggered the sound barrier? It was <laughs> horrible. I wasn't expecting it to be quite as loud as that. When he set it off, what happens? Well, I was, I was trying to see how long I could kind of carry, carry it out for, but I just had to had to get out of there, it was pulsating in my head pretty much. The sound barrier was invented in Sweden and originally used for crowd control. Nowadays it's used in retail stores all over Europe to amazing effect. <laughs> Following the death of Heron Mahini, taxi drivers here are debating what is the best way to keep them safe. Security cameras are the most preferred option, but Adams argues this is more effective and cheaper. The cab drivers that I have spoken to uh, seem particularly concerned that the camera would not be sufficient deterrent to deter the kind of attacker who w is prepared to, to go all out and commit the kind of crimes that we've seen recently. Do you think this will stop them? I'm fairly convinced I, I would uh, challenge anyone to sit in the, the, the cab with a cab driver long enough to allow them to do any kind of attack on the driver. As we saw, the, uh, the assailant was forced out within a matter of seconds. What do you think of this device? Oh, this is awesome. This is loud. I think the guy's going to go deaf. It's going to make him think. <laughs> I don't think he'll have time to think. <laughs> He's going to run. Our second larger device is too loud for taxis, but perfect for stores. It releases 125 decibels. It's five times louder than a typical home alarm system. We took our assailant to a central Auckland bottle store to try it out. His mission to steal some Jack Daniels. He barely got the fridge door open. What happened? You sort of crumpled down that time. It looked like you are having a fit. Yeah, I don't know. It kind of, the sound kind of takes you over. It's, it's, a, it's a hard thing to describe, but it gets right into your head like a bad migraine or something. I the brain pretty much gives the command to the body, you've got to leave because I can't tolerate this. And it's the nature of the sound spectrum. It's not just a loud noise, it's actual the, um, the, the science of the, of the sound spectrum that causes it to disrupt the brain to the extent that the body flees. The device is loud but not loud enough to do permanent damage. Nevertheless, they should not be trusted in the hands of anyone. Is this arm? No, no, don't do it. Yeah, don't. Really? Yeah, it's ready to go. Don't do what it. What would happen if I do? Oh, it'll just go off. You wouldn't like that? Uh, I wouldn't, no. No, you have to hold it. <laughs> Whether they make their way into taxis is for the industry to decide. It's loud, and I think, yeah, it's going to make the guy bolt. If they do, it's likely they'll be used in conjunction with security cameras. Tony Reid reporting, if you're wondering about the cost of that very noisy contraption, it is around $1,000. That's in comparison to, say, $1,500 for a security camera and $1,300 for a safety shield. Let us know what you think of that device.